the Riverside Android app has some huge upgrades. Not only can you record in high quality video and audio, even use a teleprompter right on your mobile device, but you can now cut, edit, and share all from your Android phone. Make sure you've updated to the latest version of the Riverside app on your Android device, and let's jump in. Here I'm already signed into my Riverside account, and if I tap the icon in the top left, you'll see your list of studios, and you can even create a new studio right here on your device to record audio and video or audio only, change the language, and start recording. Also in the studio list, you can click the three dots next to a studio name, invite someone to a studio where you get the guest and audience links, share your studio recordings, and jump back into the studio settings. Here you can change the name of the studio, language, and audio or video. Go to the Invite to Studio, and here you can grab the guest and audience links. Just click the paperclip icon, and it will copy to your keyboard. Let's go to one of our studios, and here you'll see past recordings. If you click the three dots here in the top right, you'll also have the Invite to Studio links and the ability to share recordings. Let's jump in and record something first. I'm going to click the purple icon in the bottom right, and here we're previewing what we're going to see. You want to rotate your device 90 degrees to landscape, you can swap between the front and back facing cameras using this button here. If you tap the three dots, you can also mute the speaker of this device, which is helpful if you're doing in-person recordings. I have an entire video on using multiple devices like iPhones, Android devices, and iPads for in-person. You can check out that video right up here. You can also grab those guest and audience links using the invite people, use this mobile device to record a secondary angle, and our support link. Let's click Join Studio, and we're almost ready to record. We can leave if we'd like. We have the options to mute the speaker, invite, and support under the three dots. You can tap the message bubble and access the chat. And right here, you'll now see our teleprompter feature. I can tap this icon and it's gonna bring up the script. Now, once the script gets pulled up, I can actually click play and use this as a teleprompter. I can also tap the settings icon under the script. I can change the text size and maybe make that a little smaller. I can choose to auto start the teleprompter once I begin recording. And also focus mode will dim the background so if I bring up the script, it's actually gonna turn off the camera even though my camera is still enabled. I can click play, it's gonna scroll through that teleprompter, or I can hit the refresh button and it'll go back to the top. I can also tap into the script if I wanna make changes and actually edit or write a script right here in the app. Turn off the script for now. You have your mute microphone or turn off camera options here. And if you wanna get even higher quality audio, you can actually use a USB microphone with the Riverside Android app. Be sure to plug in any microphones before you press the record button. This way it can be recognized by your mobile device. This works on Android and iPhone 15 or newer with USB-C, and the audio will be recorded here from the microphone. We also suggest plugging in a pair of wired headphones to the USB mic. This way you can both hear yourself and your remote guests. Then you might wanna get an inexpensive tripod and phone clip so you can set it up closer to eye level. And here's an example of what it looks like when I'm about to record using the Riverside app on an Android device. I can tap record, and now I'm recording in high quality 4K video and audio using the USB microphone for higher quality audio. When you're done recording, press the stop button. The files for you and your remote guests, if they were using either a computer or mobile device, will be uploaded. And that recording will be ready in just a few minutes to begin editing. And that's a wrap. Now let's go back to the recordings here in our studio. I'm gonna go back to a recording I just did earlier today. Here in the app, I can actually preview the recording right here, and there is the high quality video. Now I can choose to just export the full length clip right here. I can choose video quality going all the way up to 4K, even remove background noise and normalize audio levels, or jump over to the audio tab, and I can export an MP3 file all right here from my Android device. But let's go back and actually make some edits. Here back on the recordings page, I can click the paperclip icon and then share this link to someone so they can download the files. I can hit the share button. That's actually gonna jump me to the export window or I can tap the three dots here and I can rename the recording if I'd like. If I just wanna quickly add animated captions, I can tap that button right here. I can scroll through different styles of captions. Let's go with this one. And then I can actually adjust things even further, like changing the font. I can change the style, how it's highlighted. I can change the animation style. I usually like going for a box look around the highlighted word. And then I can preview it. And maybe I wanna change one of those colors. I can go over to the highlight color. I'll choose the orange. And you'll see that highlight color changed right here now I have animated captions on my video. Now when I hit done, and that actually jumps me into the editor so I can make even further changes. You can also jump directly to the editor by going to the recordings page and clicking editor here on your Android phone. Now we have multiple options for both trimming and cutting our recording. If I go to the trim tool, I can actually drag the in and out point, and that's actually gonna cut out anything that I drag past. So I can trim the in and out point there, 
or even crop to 15, 30, or 60 seconds if I'm trying to make a short form video. But I can also cut parts of the recording. And here I can tap words and selecting the script here, I can just hit delete. And now I can edit my content right here from the mobile device, both an in and out point and deleting specific words or phrases. I can hit done and I've edited my video and audio content. I can also add those animated captions right here from the editor. And if I want to reformat this to make a vertical video, I can tap the 16 by 9 aspect ratio tool here. And now I'm in vertical or even do a square version of this video. I can move the animated captions around. I'll put them here towards the bottom. Let's preview this. So now I have a vertical clip with animated captions. I've edited it down to precisely the length I want. And when I'm ready, I can export this clip right here from the app. I'll hit the share button, tap export video. And once it's done exporting, I can then save this video file directly to my device and then upload it to social media, save it to my photos for later, and even use my web browser to upload an MP3 file to my podcast host and other destinations. And any edits you've been making will be saved here on your Android device. And they're also accessible on Riverside for desktop. And there you can do things like generate magic clips, which are the short form videos that Riverside will create automatically. AI generated show notes to get a summary takeaways and more from your long form content and all our other AI tools in the Riverside editor on the web. If you want to learn more about all those tools and the new features that recently just came out, things like smart scenes and background audio in the editor, check out this video right up here. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel and hit that like button before you go. If you have any questions on the Android app or iPhone and iPad apps that Riverside makes for all the platforms, leave comments below this video. I'll answer you there. And if you watch this, but you also have an iPad or other Apple devices, and you want to see how Riverside works there, you can check out this video where I go through using an iPhone 16 and the Riverside app to build a complete podcast studio in your pocket. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.